Trump and J.D. Vance as the Republican nominees for President and Vice President of the United States. We'll have a full breakdown of Vance later on in the show, but Trump told Fox it's a very important position, especially if something bad should happen. And this weekend, it nearly did. The former president telling The Post his doctors called it a miracle and, quote, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be dead. Trump thanking God he's still alive and said he wanted to keep speaking, but I just got shot. And he calls the picture of him bloodied with his fist raised the most iconic photo ever seen. Usually, you have to die to have an iconic picture. The reality is just setting in, and Trump's humbled. He ripped up and rewrote his acceptance speech to focus on peace and love. Brushes with death change you. Trump understands he had an angel on his shoulder, and the country feels blessed. But we still have a lot of questions. And the feds, possibly on purpose, are making this more confusing. Even though NBC reports that the Secret Service had flagged that white roof building as a security vulnerability, the Secret Service saying tonight that they never swept it. They say they relied on local cops to handle it. This building, the American Glass Research Building, is suspicious. ABC reporting that a local police tactical team was using the building as a staging area to watch the crowd. We're also hearing from ABC that Crooks did not use a ladder to reach the roof. So how do you get up there? Is he Spider-Man? How'd the shooter gain access to a building that local police tactical team was using as a security perch? A CNN report says ABC's wrong. Crooks bought and used the ladder. And if that's true, how did nobody see a man carrying a rifle and a ladder walk to a building that law enforcement was using to guard the president? Sources tell former Secret Service agent Dan Bongino that police were chasing the shooter around before he got near the roof. Here's another thing I'm hearing from sources, that this subject, they, are, they had been monitoring him since he came in around that, that external perimeter area, the subject who was the shooter. They lost track of him, apparently, and he was hiding in a building about 300 yards away. Law enforcement lost track of the shooter before he shot the president? How would he outrun police carrying a ladder and a rifle anyway? And if he placed the ladder down against the building and then got chased, why didn't cops seize the ladder so he couldn't climb back up? We asked the Secret Service if the shooter was chased by law enforcement, and they told us they, quote, believe local police had interactions with the subject. But local police are pushing back. They say their job was just traffic duty. Pennsylvania State Police telling us they weren't responsible for securing the building or property. So the Secret Service is pointing their fingers at the locals, and the locals are pointing their fingers back. You have a loose kook with an AR 130 yards from a former president, cat and mousing cops while Trump was allowed to remain on stage. Why was Trump still allowed on stage if there was an active manhunt underway for an armed threat? ABC reports that police were looking up at the roof of the building a full minute before shots rang out. But just breaking tonight, a local Pennsylvania station is reporting that local law enforcement spotted crooks on the ground acting suspicious nearly a half an hour before the shooting. And they called it in. And another officer spotted him nearly a half an hour before the shooting, shooting took a picture of him and also called it in. Why wasn't any action taken? And later, people at the rally flagged crooks on the roof. Watch. Look, they're all pointing. Yeah, yeah. yeah someone's on top of the roof. Look. There he is right there. Right there. See him? He's laying down. See him? Yeah, he's laying down. And so I'm here with you fighting my tail to get a sentence. What's happening? And this make sure we take back the white because if we do, we're going to make America better than ever before. We're going to make it. Yeah, look. And there he is. Because we have millions and millions Officer. of people in our country that shouldn't be here. Dangerous people. Criminals. We have criminals. We have criminals. We have people that should not be here. Right on the road. It's much tougher than it is. It happens. You want to be right on the road for that. This was such a colossal security failure that many people are wondering if this was sabotage. Was somebody on the inside compromised? 
There's no evidence of that, but the way the agencies are handling this investigation is unacceptable. We're learning more details about the shooter. Reports say he had a transmitter strapped to his body and a receiver hooked up to explosives in the trunk of his car. He was trying to trigger an explosion as a distraction maybe before taking a shot. He purchased 50 rounds of ammo just before opening fire, just hours, and lied to his dad that he was going to the gun range that day. Finally, the FBI gained access to his phone, they say, but the Bureau says they don't have a motive, which doesn't track. Every one of these assassins or mass shooters have ideologies. They have digital footprints, and they want to be infamous. How is Crooks a ghost? The FBI couldn't find the motive of the Vegas shooter, the deadliest shooting in U.S. history, never zeroed in on the Gen 6 pipe bomber, manufactured the Russia hoax, even doctored a warrant to spy on Trump. This is the same FBI who cooked up the Gretchen Whitmer kidnapping plot and had informants involved with the Pulse nightclub shooting. The Pittsburgh FBI field office is running point on this investigation. Just happens to be the same field office that buried the Biden bribery tip in Ukraine. FBI Director Chris Wray won't resign, but Trump will probably fire him when he's reelected. But will Biden fire Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle? Yes, I do. Do you still have faith in the Secret Service, Mr. President? Yes, I do. Biden hasn't fired anybody. Why would he start now? But Cheadle says the buck stops with her. What was your reaction when you saw the events unfold on Saturday? Shock uh, and then concern, obviously, uh, for the former president. This is an event that should have never happened. Who is most responsible for this happening? What I would say is that the Secret Service is responsible for the protection of the former president. So the buck stops with you? The buck stops with me. I am the director of the Secret Service. It was unacceptable, and it's something that shouldn't happen again. Oh, so she'll resign, right? The president and Homeland Security Secretary said today they had 100 percent confidence in you, but there are some members of Congress calling on you to resign. I appreciate the secretary's comments, and we're going to continue to be transparent uh, and communicate with people. Do you plan to stay on? Absolutely. I do plan to stay on. That's Washington. <laughs> you say the right things, but you don't do the right thing. We were seconds away from a live execution of a presidential frontrunner, and the Secret Service director isn't being fired, isn't resigning, and promises it won't happen again. How do we know her internal investigation isn't going to be a cover-up? This woman destroyed her text from Jan 6th and blew up the White House cocaine. Congressional Republicans are calling for a House Select Committee on the assassination attempt of Donald Trump. Take this out of the hands of the feds and conduct hearings under oath on live television. Bring in the counter snipers, bring in Cheadle, bring in Crooks's pop. Primetime prom. Kaylee, do you feel like the base is pleased here? Do you think this is the right move? Look, I think Donald Trump had two choices. He could choose someone with whom he had a personal affinity, someone to be the standard bearer for the MAGA movement, or someone who would add to his vote count, perhaps. Maybe a Glenn Youngkin and Nikki Haley, you know, one of those characters. He chose the former rather than the latter. Here's what I immediately thought of when J.D. Vance was picked. I thought about where I was sitting in 2015 2016, and that was on a set of CNN, when people were literally laughing about the prospect of the Trump presidency. A book came out, Hillbilly Elegy, in June. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Stay tuned with us as we always deliver the top news. And if you don't mind clicking the thumbs up like button, guys, it really helps to grow the channel right there. And also, too, if you don't mind subscribing to the channel, we will serve you every day with the top news. Thank you for being a part of this community.